in today's video, I'm going to be asking AI to make me a basketball game in Roblox Studio. So I've done many other videos of asking AI to make me Roblox games, but never a basketball one. And since I really do like basketball, I think it would be a good concept for me. And I think it would be a really fun video. But yeah, if you guys are new, make sure to like, subscribe, and let's get right into the video. So the first thing I did is open up ChatGBT and I asked it to make me a basketball game in Roblox Studio. And um, I'm just going to go ahead and see what it gives me because I have no clue. So it's giving me a working court, a basketball you can shoot, a hoop that scores points, and a basic scoreboard. So that is everything I want in the game. So it kind of estimated what I wanted. And let's go ahead and start on step one. It says open Roblox Studio, click the base plate, and then uh, it says to save the Roblox. But I'm not going to do that quite yet because uh, I'm not saving the game quite yet. I just want to make sure everything works first. And a part and then the size 120 to 1 to 60 and for this i might just use a court from the toolbox and then uh, maybe it will have a decal that shows as a court so i'm back on the uh base plate i'm gonna just hook up basketball court and then maybe that could show up because i'm trying to make it look as professional as possible i'm not gonna lie so it has all these i'm gonna make sure i'm not getting a one with scripts and um this is a basketball court as you can see and it does look like it has a big part obviously but i'm trying to see how i could get the paint like to go within the part so never mind that's kind of a bad idea i don't have a decal set right now so i'm just gonna go ahead and make the court by hand and maybe i can make it the wood texture so it says here on my second screen that uh i showed you guys the size is this 120 by 1 by 60 and there's the court right there and then what i'm thinking that i could do is go to um the explorer maybe and then i could select wood planks pretty sure that would work and uh i mean it's good enough i can see i can maybe see that doesn't look as much like a basketball court obviously but i feel like when i change the color it'll look a little bit better too so i went ahead and changed the color to like a light orange i think it looks okay overall i don't think it looks the best but i think it actually does look okay just for a part with no decals or nothing for the spawn location i'm just gonna move it to the side and now i'm gonna go ahead and go back to ChatGPT and see what it wants me to do next but beforehand it does want me to name this part court so i'm gonna go ahead and uh go to the part and then name it court and then anchored true so i'm gonna make sure it's anchored like so and then color brown i don't think that really matters but uh yeah now for hoop simple version create a model name hoop backboard part size color so it just wants me to create the separate parts of the uh the hoop and it says for the cylinder rotate x 90 degrees anchored so i think it wants me to just have a cylinder that maybe looks like a rim i guess but um yeah so first thing i'm gonna do is create the backboard so i'm gonna go back to roblox studio so first things first actually what i might want to do is go to the toolbox and it might seem like i'm doing a lot of toolbox but um it really does help and this isn't like a game that i'm going to be publishing so it's not like it really matters but um i'm just looking for a basketball hoop with parts so this one kind of works i guess i mean it is a, a mesh part i mean a union but i think that wouldn't really matter so what i'm just gonna go ahead and do is uh, so it needs to be named hoop obviously with a capital so i'm just gonna do that real quick and then for the backboard i'm just gonna change all the size dimensions obviously because i want it to work exactly um perfect so the sizes should be like this and that is a big backboard holy you know what screw it. i think it would be easier if i just made it by myself so i got the big pull from the toolbox and i'm just gonna go ahead and rotate that and then square it in the middle and then make it on both sides so it looks good okay perfect so now in the side of the hoop model i need to go ahead and this part i don't know why it spawned all the way over there but anyways like i said this is going to be the backboard so i need to change the size to what it's going to be and it's 12 a one so that's the backboard part right there and i'm just gonna go ahead and reposition it so it fits right to the backboard the pull thingy and what i'm gonna do in lighting is also turn off global shadows because it really doesn't look good with all these shadows on okay okay and then what i want to do is go ahead and duplicate the part again so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the part duplicate it and then copy it all the way back over here and then perfect we have two of them um i'm not sure why the weld didn't go for these two because i do want these to be welded as well so i'm gonna go ahead and go to the plugins i don't think i have any plugins on this account because i am using my alt so uh i think i could just be able to weld it okay there now it welded now it wants me to create the cylinder part so i'm gonna go ahead and go back into the hoop model and add a part and i want this part to be a cylinder so i'm gonna go ahead and go here and select cylinder not 
rim like it wants me to just have it as like a disc but honestly i'm gonna just go with it i mean it doesn't have to look the best as long as the whole system works it gave me a really specific size for this it's like a 0.4 for the x-axis which is a bit weird and now i'm gonna copy and paste that and i have no clue why it's so small low key i don't think the rim really matters that much so i'm just gonna get one from the toolbox i think what the net matters much more so i'm gonna go in the toolbox and hook up rim and see oh what in the world so for some reason it flagged me for hooking up rim so i'm just gonna like, like move on i don't know why i did that but anyways uh i got the hoop another hoop right here that i used from earlier so i'm just gonna go ahead and copy this into here and it spawned all the way over here i hate when it does that dude and i don't think the rim really matters that much i think it's just mainly the uh I think it's mainly the uh, net that matters more. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, put this as five. I'm not 35. So this should be good. Five, five and zero point, whatever that number is. And then uh, I'm just going to go ahead and duplicate this, honestly, because I think this should be good. So it doesn't say like what I name it. So I'm just going to name it rim. Honestly, it doesn't tell me what to name it. And for the last step, it wants me to net trigger important. So uh, name it score zone part size. Um, so it's just basically giving me like a transparent block i'm assuming and then i put it inside the under the rim and then it triggers the score so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that so what i might loki just do is uh add a part to the hoop of course the hoop folder and i actually forgot to put these in the hoop folder so i'm just gonna go ahead and do that add a part and then in the part i put it slightly below the rim of course it doesn't have to be perfect it just has to cover the whole rim so it could trigger when i uh make the basket and now i want this for me and now it wants me to put the transparency to one and then it wants me to put the anchor to true and i also forgot about this i have to put can collide to zero because the ball has to obviously pass through it so can collide zero and i'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate it and put it on the other rim so this is perfect this is what i have so far it's looking okay for now but um i don't go for aesthetics first i always like to go for it if it works first and then i'll go for how it looks after now it wants me to make the basketball um insert a part into workspace i'm pretty sure it wants me to do and then uh shape ball so i haven't seen a shape that's named ball oh right, here got ball right here and now what it wants me to do is uh put the size to uh two 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 i'm gonna go ahead and do that so this is our ball it wants me to do orange and i'm trying to think where the good orange would be probably this orange right here name basketball so that's just logical and to make it look cooler i might do a smooth plastic material because i feel like plastic is a bit rough for basketball so I'm going to do smooth plastic and make it look a little bit more shiny. And then anchored is false like here. And then add physics, um, custom physics properties. So I've never done this before, but what I'm assuming is uh, custom physics properties are right there. I enabled it right there. And then I go underneath and then here is everything I need to do. Density 0 0.7, friction 0 0.5, and then elastic is 0 0.5 six and by the way guys i'm reading this all by um chat so i'm not just making this all up so inside the basketball i want me to add a click detector uh and yeah that's what it wants me to do and then insert a script i think this is a server script so i'm gonna go ahead and pop copy it script and paste it into the basketball like so now for the scoring system inside the script it, uh put this into server script service so this is a script the ai gave me put in the service service i accidentally moved the g over so it's game players dot player add so that's good now the ai wants me to add enter a script inside score zone so uh this is just how uh the leader stats would work and then track who shoots the ball and then this is going to go into the basketball so i go to my score zones I add a script, copy this, and then I duplicate the script, I would assume, and then paste it into my other score zone. And I don't know if the AI knows that I have two hoops, so I'm just going to fix that later if anything messes up because of that. Now, for the last script, add um, this into the basketball. Add this inside the basketball script near the shooting code. So place it right before applying velocity. So I'm assuming it wants me to put this script right here because it said before velocity so i'm just gonna go ahead and see if this works beforehand i'm gonna move the basketball of course because uh i just don't want it to make it shoot like crazy far obviously and the last thing i want to do is uh tell me give me the full basketball script because it told me to add something before velocity and i don't know if i even did that right so i'm looking back on the prompt and i asked it to make me the tool the basketball a tool because i feel like that would be a little bit much easier so i'm just gonna name it basketball tool and then um i'm not sure how you create the tool itself i think what you just do is insert a tool in a workspace and then what you want to do is drag that into here 
and then what it wants me to do is put it into a starter player no i'm sorry starter pack it wants me to put the tool into now it wants me to put a script into it and uh this is my old script but since i want it to be a tool now this is the new one now since i did that it does want me to change a little things around so um there's a new script for the um scoreboard the score zone there's a new server script service script for the leader stats and that i think is it so i'm currently joining the game in uh i have the basketball tool and why is this showing up here bro and by the way i did this off screen i had to add the handle to the basketball tool because roblox defaults to having handles inside of tools to make it work so that's just that but uh there you go i have the basketball in my hand but for some reason when i throw it well shoot it i mean what more do i expect not stopping there so what i wanted to do is make it so i make the ball every time when i shoot it and um when i shoot the ball five seconds later so it doesn't roll around and i can't re-equip it i want it to go destroy and put it back into my toolbox so it gave me a whole new script for the basketball zone and um hopefully this works so i'm loading into the game i have the tool so it does look like it shoots it and it's a 50 50 chance to make it or not but let's see it goes back to my toolbox but it doesn't seem like it is going inside i mean it doesn't seem like the points are counting i mean correct me am i hitting that i think i am so i'm asking the ai right now here i'll pull it on my screen why it's not counting the balls named handle not basketball so i'm pretty sure i have to put this inside the score zone so i went ahead and copied and pasted that let's see what it works so i keep trying it and it doesn't seem like that the points are counting for some reason i'm trying to figure out why i feel like something with this script is making it not work for some reason so what i might do since it makes it every time i might say to make it so every time i shoot you might as well just give me the point so what i'm that's probably just what i'm going to do so every time i shoot it gives me the point to the leader stat so i'm just gonna go ahead and do this and yeah for some reason it is like just sitting there but uh i'm gonna ask chat gbt after it tweens make sure a second after it just drops so this is what it's giving me so the drop delay is one second so i'm maybe make it like 0 0.5 so i went ahead and copied that 0 0.5 play look at that it does work maybe i could go like 0 0.1 because i feel like that would be way more realistic for basketball honestly i'm gonna just do it like that and then boom it literally just drops to the hoop and gets me a point so while it's giving me my prompt i do want it to make it so i just delete this because it, i mean obviously it is only shooting it to this room but i really don't care if this room is just there for a bystander so what it wants me to do now is replace my tool script with this long script it's giving me in a here, I'll show you guys how long this is how long this is 125 lines and make the drop delay back to 0 0.1 and the good thing with this I could just literally join the game and see if it dribbles and what the heck so what I'm basically doing there is the ball is literally at its global point where I put it in the workspace and it's literally dribbling me so it did work a little bit but when I equip the ball I like dribble it and then when I click I shoot it but the drilling mechanics still aren't that good i'm obviously just like flopping around kind of but i guess it's not that bad honestly i'm just gonna say that right now so it does look like i'm not jibbing the ball of course but i didn't even ask it to make it so i click and then i shoot the ball because i could just do this all day but i'm gonna click and i shot the ball and i literally don't even know it's making a sound effect too like i didn't even know it did that but yeah guys i know it may not look the best it may not work the best but what can i really get from ai nowadays I mean, yeah, I could get a lot, but not necessarily a ton of Roblox Studio games are going to work with AI. But obviously, it's not bad for the first attempt because the mechanics do work. It just doesn't look visually pleasing, but that's on me. I'm just too lazy right now to make it look pleasing when half the mechanics aren't even working properly. But yeah, that's it for the video. If you guys are new, make sure to like, subscribe, and bye-bye.